Welcome back to Gold Gutters. Hi, my name's John. I'm with my uh, co-host Julio, Kyle yeah, Davis, yeah. and Scott. It's Taggart. How you guys doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm all right, man. I'm working. Uh, um, what would you say? I'm kind of. Uh, I got the. I don't know. My flu game. My flu broadcast. Um, so Michael Jordan's flu game, though. Yeah, we so were just talking about that. Don't shove anybody out of the way. No, I know. And then that that was terrible. You guys remember that? Do you remember that? Did no. you see that? I remember it. I when don't he did remember. to Russell. Against the against the against Utah, it was terrible. I, I don't remember. I remember I that. I, I heard about it all afterwards. I didn't watch it. Though. I bet it. I watched the whole thing. Did you? Because it was such a big deal. You know, Utah. He's hurt. He's sick. He's sick. You know. I remember the run up to it though about how so they weren't even sure he was going to play at one point, right? Because how sick he was. Yeah, and guess what? Yeah, he played all right, man. Whoop. Yeah, no, it was a close jersey. game too. I think you're right. Yeah. Someone stole a jersey, so we had to wear jersey number twelve. Something nuts. Yeah, you know what? The whole thing was garbage. <laughs> I remember him wearing jersey number twelve before. The whole thing was trash. It was a bunch of garbage. It really was, man. But anyways, um, why don't we start out with what a uh, big story this week uh, was in the NBA, uh, guys, were the the Lakers. I mean, with uh, four of the top 75 in the NBA history ever, ever um, history are 17 games under 500, yeah. and, we're, and we're eliminated by the Suns. But LeBron sits out both games, I think this against the Spurs and against the Suns, with a lingering ankle injury. Mm-hmm. Anthony Davis, obviously, well, he's always you know he's always hurt. Um, the Lakers have now. This is something I didn't know. Have only made the playoffs two times in the last nine years. Well, yeah, because LeBron's only been there for th- three, two, three, three. Yeah, they only three got relevant. Yeah, they only though. got good again when he came back. Yeah, even though the, the players that all left are in better, all in the playoffs right now. Did you? And I guess the Pelicans have their first round pick this year. Good, and it's not protected. But like. Did you guys, I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously we can't. We're not saying we're fort- not a fortune teller. But you, did you ever look at that roster and think no. it wasn't going to work out? And the, like, you know. That should have been like uh, go to FanDuel and immediately figure out. I've usually, out usually mm-hmm. smaller groups like that, when you put, as long as the egos aren't out of control, it usually does work out. You know, when you try it on football teams and that, that's a lot different. There's too much, too many moving parts involved. But usually something like that, when you put it together, I mean, generally in the past, it's worked. Yeah, we, you know, it's, you know, it's worked a lot. They're, they're the best team. Their bench is terrible. See, I am the opposite with that. You I like think their it? bench is incredible. What do you like, Wiggins? I see, I, when the lineup came out in the beginning of the season, it was the starting three, the big three. Right. And then their whatever center they wanted to go with, the big guy, uh, <clears throat> Howard. Um, then they had Carmelo off the bench, Monk off the bench. Um, Rondo was off the bench, but now it's uh, DJ Augustine. They, um, I said Monk already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he's Tucker. Good. They they've had bench. See, they they've had a deeper bench. If I you get... look at all the other super teams, there's no bench there either. Well, I guess the biggest thing is the games missed by yeah. the by the big. I mean, you're talking LeBron. I think I wrote it down. LeBron only played 45 games, and um, Anthony Davis played 36. This and year. Westbrook missed one. one. Yeah, he Just missed one. one. Game. Now the th- the problem with him is right. He's he just doesn't. It feels like he doesn't fit there. No, he he needs the ball in his hand and so does LeBron. I told and he's when this, older. When this happened, know. there's a guy I work with. He's really into the NBA. Um, <coughs> those two players, if you look at them, LeBron and Westbrook, they should just never be on the court together. The, the way that they both need to orchestrate the offense and have the ball in their yeah. hand, there's no need for both of them to be on the court. You and wasn't LeBron there, one of the guys time. pushing for him to come there in the first place? Yeah, LeBron was the one that like yeah, he was the one that wanted there. Well, yeah, I make it, but try but to make time, it work. There was no superstars available mm. in free agency, and you can't even like Anthony Davis. I don't know how you'd want. You just can't. He's made, he's very fragile. I mean, what are you going to do with him <laughs> if you he have him? Be the, You're stuck. The LeBron yeah. James, knew, the Lakers, and LeBron knew what they were doing. The objective for LeBron to do last year and this year and their bogus bubble victory that shouldn't even count. Um, is the pass the keys on to Anthony Davis, and he's just not taking the keys. He's fumbling him around and not taking the the franchise where it needs to go. Mm. And Can't LeBron stay had, healthy, man. LeBron had a good year when you think about it. Right, his, average his points, average his year, uh, But now he only had thirty. He only played forty five games. The other thing is these last two games. I don't, man. How hurt? I mean, he sat out them both. These are elimination games, right. I and mean, they needed them. I, that's just a bad. I don't know how bad could the lingering ankle been. Injury, right. you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, right. Like, does he, I mean, why well, would he not gut through it for that? I'm shocked. Unless he has to not even be active in yeah. the jersey. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I'll tell you right. I'll tell you who wouldn't do that. Well, Mike, Mike, Kobe, Jordan. Jordan. That would never yeah. happen. 
Kobe's not doing that. That would never happen. No, Kobe played on the. What did he so have, the like comparisons the right there yeah. from now on to him, he just that. I mean, that should put that to bed. Yeah, I don't like it. I, it I don't put it right to sleep. Yeah, Sorry. Not, but at the same time, he left in his prime to go play baseball. So, oh, I mean, Jordan, yeah. This whole team. He only missed one game. Sure. But I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I, I think the conversation should never happen for him to be top three or four in the Lakers' great stuff. Right. After missing that game, he should never be in the top five. I know, he missed the, he missed that does not put him in front of Kobe, Elijah Wan, Magic, or Shaq. I mean, yeah, Kareem. 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 Yeah, I, I just think that he missed the Spurs. I mean, he missed the last two. I think it was the Spurs, and that's what they were chasing. Right. And then it was the Suns. You cannot miss and, the game that you were chasing. And the Suns, um, you know, we'll talk about them in a minute. Um, LeBron brought out some, and I, I'm not going to be able to bring it up right now, but LeBron brought out some, I'm not going to talk about the tweet, but he was talking about wanting to play with Seth Curry. Yes. Um, I think that's, but I I don't know if that was really taken out of context. Or but not. I think it's just like, them asking, like, hey, who do you... Like, me asking you right now. Yeah. Who would you want to play with? Right. And then the, the, look at the people he hasn't played with yet. That's the only answer that you can possibly give. Right. What's he going to say? I want to play with KD. It's never going to happen. You play the same position. That thing with his son, kind of, I don't get what's well, going to happen there. Yeah, yeah, you know that's exactly what's going to happen. He's, he's, he's waiting smart for his to son. Do that, too. He's pretty much he saying it. Mm. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whoever has that... Uh, First round pick that they're willing to waste on LeBron James Jr. Because we don't know if he's he's not good. He's not good. If his name wasn't Brown Jr., he wouldn't even be a first round talent. Oh wow! Where's he playing? uh, Yeah, because if he was really good, you'd be seeing highlights of him constantly. Yeah, Yeah, no, I haven't even constantly. I mean, I'm judging it from that. I don't know if he's that well or not. But him saying that I'm gonna go play with my son, that's pretty much telling one of these first round teams that just missed the playoffs, hey, spend your first round pick taking my son because you get me for a year as well. Right. Right. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't it, like it. It's yeah. force his son That's a bad luck. Person. Yeah. Father of the year. I mean, I know you can call your shots, but I mean. That's I, that's 1,000% the only way he, him saying I'm playing with my son and being a free agent that same year and why he did his contract the way he did. So he gets to pick where he goes is to get his son to be a first round pick. Yeah. So right now he's not worth that first round pick. <coughs> and, <laughs> excuse me, uh, the head coach is going to get fired. Yeah. Oh, that's, no, that's a get given. Fired. Yeah, I'm I think he didn't happen already. He's got to be a <laughs> the way he sacrifice. The Westbrook yeah. situation shouldn't have been Surprise like, didn't happen already. Yeah. Westbrook could have been benched a lot sooner. <clears throat> it's a tough situation. I don't know why you'd want to. That's a hard. It's a hard to, group to, to manage, to right? Manage LeBron. I mean, he's the guy. I mean, right. He's essentially the. Yeah, you're he a might skeleton. As well be I mean, the coach. you're a puppet coach for the most part. I mean, it's kind of yeah. It's Unless tough. you're really good. And you got an agreement with LeBron, but he's definitely in on everything. I mean, you're getting that all of it. Yeah, definitely. He's choosing everything. And how much are you getting from those other guys, too? I mean, who knows? No. How about the Lakers now? Are they the most disappointing team in sports history? Are they that disappointing with all of this and all the, you know, all the... Because they were, I think Vegas had them as... The favorites. Yeah, the favorites. Been, a lot of people had them as the favorites. Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I would say, yeah. I would say so. I think the Nets I agree. could be close to being that too. If this, they don't, this, make, well, not as not on the level that this Brooklyn is. Nets though is the vaccine will be the thing that no. you know Kyrie couldn't play, and that was his choice. He chose. I, I know, but this sure. is a storied franchise. I mean, yeah. look at everything behind. I mean, it's that there's a lot more. He hoopla played 27 the games this year, Kyrie. and also another thing that separates the two: one's in the West and one's in the East. The East is way harder right now. Yeah, yeah, no, it is the bottom. Yes, it definitely is because the East. Like, Brooklyn's going to play Atlanta, I think, in the yeah. play-in. That's going to be tough for them. Well, Trae Young's good. Now they yeah, probably won't Trae make Young's it past good. the first round. I kind of huh? hope they don't, but Durant is ridiculous. I mean, that guy. is ridiculous, Brown. Brown, I know. No, I know. I, I just A lot of people are calling but if for they them not lose, to make it past the first round. If they lose in the play-in, I think that's a pretty... That's bad. That's a pretty, yeah, you know, yeah. with Kyrie there now. But also, they got rid of a superstar in the middle of the season, so like, it's not as bad as the Lakers. Right. I probably wouldn't even. Are they even gonna play? What's what's his name? Why is it? No, he said oh, he's gonna miss the playing round. Jeez. They, they keep doing that all the time. It went from he's not gonna play when he first gets there to he's gonna uh, play later on in the season. So he's gonna miss the first round, then miss the second. They'll just keep delaying it. Same so second. Lakers most disappointing. I can't even think. I was trying to think of others. That disappointed. That's um, a lot of talent on one team. Because, <coughs> I mean, <coughs> excuse me, there's been some hockey teams that I could mention that have been disappointments um, in the year, years ago. Like uh, teams that had Ovechkin on it. Yeah. They were very disappointing because they wouldn't do nothing. Um, football, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. You know, where a team just didn't make the playoffs and they should, you know what I mean? Like, right. type of thing. Like the, I mean, because there's 17 games under 500. I mean, that's just right. pathetic. That's hard. 
Yeah, it's only yeah, it's hard to do. Man. <laughs> you got to work at sucking. Only other team I consider in there, and it's going to sound a little weird, but Golden State being up three one against the Cavs and not Ooh. being able to win that. But how long ago did LeBron check out? Did he check out? I mean, did how long ago did the did the cracks start to happen in it where I, people started not giving a shit that anymore? Fucking Westbrook, that fucking Westbrook you know? stuff really was hand, like like Julio said, handled just terrible. I love Westbrook. He's one of my favorite players in the league, but it's just... He is a great player, man. Him. He's phenomenal. He's got to get out of there. It yeah, is, that's a, that just wasn't a good marriage, he needs to man. to get out of there. He I've seen some there, of his media, he and he doesn't look... He didn't look really happy. He, he wants to be in L.A. That's where he's from. He needs to go play for the Knicks, maybe. He needs to go play for the Knicks. Well, LeBron, is LeBron still going to be around in L.A. next year? Yeah, LeBron has to be there next year. Yeah? Yeah, I don't think he can back out yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh, that'd be terrible. Yeah, could you imagine? I don't even know where he'd go because he ain't going to go. He just State. looks like he's that kind of guy now. I no, mean, he'll yeah. just flop wherever. We're now just Definitely trying to catch could. a ring if he can. Yeah, no Golden State. There's no way. Who could beat the Suns? <clears throat> the Suns look great to me. I think. See, I think. I think there's teams that can beat them. I think uh, Memphis beating them with all their starters out and all, all <coughs> Phoenix had all their starters in. That's alarming. Phoenix is hard. Phoenix yeah. is tough. They've been tough all but year. But also, Golden State, all they got to do, like I said last week, is just with the shooters. All, if they're hot for that series, they could beat any team. Yeah. Yeah, no, but right. They got Poole and all them guys and, and, maybe and Curry. Maybe Wiseman will eventually come back. I don't, we don't know. That's the team I thought that could beat them maybe is Golden State. I, the Nuggets, I but they beat the Nuggets last year. I think Aiton played pretty well against yeah. Yorick. Murray, is Murray? I don't even know if Murray's back. I don't know. I don't, think I don't know. I, I just... I, for me, Memphis, I'm not sure. I, I saw you sent me the thing, yeah. the the box score. I don't know. Very young. Interesting. Yeah. You know, very, very young team. But, like, if the starters come in, maybe everything changes. Maybe yeah. the ball's in uh, Jaw's hands too much, and it's not spread around the floor like we talked about a couple of weeks ago. This is, Can't run an offense for one player. And this is Chris Paul's. This is it. I mean, this is a best is, opportunity for him Chris to Paul get Chris Paul misses this, yeah. he'll go out without winning a championship, and then he's going to go chase – LeBron around the league to go try to chase the ring together. Yeah, because they talk a lot, as we they're see. The be- they're yeah. the best of friends. That draft class is, uh, has always been tight, and they've always been open about wanting to play together. When they first came into the league, all three of them, well, three out of the four, Paul, um, Wade, and LeBron, signed year deals to make sure they're free agents together. Carmelo Anthony also was in that, but he signed a longer deal, so he didn't get to meet up with them as soon as they wanted to. Well, That's why they all met up in Miami. And the other two couldn't do it because they signed extensions. Now Westbrook wouldn't be good in Phoenix. Westbrook is in good where would anywhere. He, where, anywhere where he has to not hold the ball in his hand, he's. Where could he go though? Where would you? Where did Sacramento you say? Kings. Sacramento Kings. But then you got to get rid of De'Aaron Fox. Right. Because they both need the ball in their hand. Hmm. You know we can go with Toronto, play Siakam. True. If you have two bigs, that would be good. And Va- yeah, give them two bigs and you're good to go. If LeBron James would have been a good <laughs> teammate, he would have said, "Hey, Anthony Davis, you're going to move to the five. I'm going to move to the four. And we're going to stay in the paint. And Westbrook, you just come down this lane every every single drive, do the layup, or pass it on. Just dump it off. No one's right. going to stop them two on a, a, a pass off in the paint. Yeah, no, I know. I, the way that the offense was orchestrated was all the head coaches fault, too. Now in the East, uh, real quick, I mean, we got we just talked about Brooklyn will play Atlanta, Charlotte will play Cleveland in the play, and it looks like I don't think much is going to change there. Um <clears throat> I mean, maybe I don't know, Miami, Boston, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, put them all in a blender. I mean, those are good teams. See, put, I love Milwaukee. I'll put Milwaukee ahead of all of them. Yeah, absolutely. I'll put yeah. Chicago with them, too. Yeah. I um, Boston's played well. I don't know about them, though. You know what I mean? They've played really right. well the last month or so. That's another place Westbrook would be pretty solid at. Yeah. Go well, play there with Tatum. Right. So it's going to be good. This, like we said last week, it's going to be one of the better NBA yeah. playoffs oh, we've had sure, in a long time. Oh, for sure. Um, Adam Silver. Oh, Adam. Yeah, Adam Silver is looking. I, I didn't get the clip, um, but he's looking into the trend of star players sitting out, and he says it's a big problem. Okay. As I was talking about, Durant missed 35. LeBron. No, Durant played 35. LeBron plays 45. Davis played only 36. Kyrie 27 games by his choice by not getting the vaccine. Um, it is a problem. It has well, to be fixed. If that's a problem, then shorten the season. How many games is it now? 82. 82. It doesn't need to be 82. The league is way stretched out. There should never be, there should be 82 games, and there should never, ever, 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 ever be back-to-back games. You absolutely have to lower ticket prices then, because if you're selling me, it's bad. Yeah, a ticket with the picture of the star player on it, and I show up and pay all that money to go to that game, and they're not playing. It's tough. That's you can't do that's it. a bad look, man. Yeah, I can't. mean, that's that's a bad look. It's been really you bad. You can't you can't do that. I think it's You terrible. can't have the best of both words. Worlds, I've heard a lot of complaints about that. That's been I've been hearing little lulls about that for a while. 
here and there. It hasn't been any big stories or anything. Just about people getting pissed off about the end of the season with the big stars just mailing it in. And not some playing. of them in the middle. Of the, yeah, and even in the middle. The or with the break. Yeah, Holy right. The Christ. breaks. Right. For sure. I mean, I mean especially uh, when the tickets are sold on the predicate well, that that's who you're going to see play. Lower the season and lower the back-to-backs because a lot of the excuses for the load man- management is that they're, they're, they just play the night before. Right. So get rid of the back-to-back. There just doesn't need to be back-to-back. And also, another thing I've never understood in all of sports, well, not football because it doesn't happen in football, but why do you play, if you play a team three times in a season, why don't you do their games, their, the home team being Chicago, why don't you play Chicago on Thursday and a, a Saturday? Right. Just keep them there. Why are you traveling so much? That's true. That field? Almost like baseball. Right. Almost like have a series. a series. Toronto. I'm Toronto. The NHL is doing that a little bit. Well, it's yeah. what you should do, though. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, why like not just play series? When you do the West Coast, like the NHL does, you go sit in the West Coast for like the weekend or week. Yeah, and just play it. Yeah. But no. instead, it's just stupid. No, it is stupid. I, I do think, what would they go to? 70 games, maybe? 62. 62 Lower games? Point. Yeah. It makes all the games matter more. You have less load management. I hate the plan. We'll never I mean, have a reason. <clears throat> Get rid of the plan. It obviously didn't do its job. Yeah, and it, you should at least have to be five, or if you want to keep the plan, that's fine. You at least have to be above five hundred to be eligible for the plan. Yeah, because this is pretty friggin' bad. And What's if, going and on? If there's only seven teams or three playoff teams, or <coughs> teams, then whoever has the one seed is already in the playoffs. Yeah, you won. You won. Robin, how you doing over there? Doing good. Yeah, forgot to tell you, Robin's here. Um, I, oh, real quick on some one last basketball note. Um, you guys obviously saw Kansas wins the game, seventy two sixty nine. It was a great North game. Carolina. Fantastic game. Um, betting wise, I was really livid because I had uh, Kansas <laughs> minus four and a half. Oh man! And it's seventy two sixty nine with four and a half seconds left. They inbound the ball, and the guy stepped out of bounds. He would have run straight out of bounds because he'd have got fouled. Now I'm not saying he's gonna hit the two free throws, but. I'm going to uh, give them the free yeah. throws. Yeah, a lot of people were pissed off. Ooh, that was that. a rough one. Hey, yeah. I, I would never give any of those uh, players a free, guaranteed free throws. Right. Just one of them would have been nice. Because Duke, Duke might yeah. go there in that game. That cost a lot of people money, right. man. The bookies were definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, four board, you know? Definitely yes. rubbing their hands together that yeah. night, boy. Four and a half, and he stepped out of bounds. Oh, my <sighs> God. I was. So I'm glad I always bet the underdog. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I don't know. So Robin, I don't know. I don't know shit about fucking about college basketball. That's why I bet the underdog. Yeah, that's all right. That's it. Well, you know, so what? that's the only thing I can bet because I don't have no idea what I'm doing. So I try to just, and I don't bet a lot of money, like I told you. So right, me neither. Me neither. Whatever's going to give me the best reward. Right. In a situation like that. Well, because so. college basketball is great because you get those little, if you like, well, like Niagara here where we live, or mm-hmm. St. Peter's, or you know, all those little schools. Peacocks. The uh, the the number you can see it jump. And it's weird. Why would Niagara play in Monmouth ever go from two to nine? Yeah, right, 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 right. You right, got it. Right. There's something. Right. So well, somebody's all dropping three some coins. Guys transferred. Oh, did they? They're all on the portal. Oh, jeez. Good for them. Yeah. Wonder nice. where they're. And, and their coach. Yep. He, uh, coach is going to. Where's he going? We forgot now. But yes, he's going to a bigger, no. bigger, uh, bigger school, which I thought would happen. That's what those little schools do. I mean, you, yeah. you kind of raise money f- and then leave. I mean, uh, they what? raise a lot of money for that school this year. Yeah, they only have four thousand or three thousand three thirty five hundred enrollment. So wow. it might be as small as NU. Yeah. Little. It is very, very small. Um Robin. Yeah. How you doing over there? Are you uh, almost uh available? Yes. Oh, that's good. Uh oh. Doing my work over here. Yeah. Robin's oh, that's working good. hard. Yeah, she is, I know. She hasn't said a word. I know. I know. Well we're kind of wandering Head into down, uh, All right. Let's see. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, and we could probably do this probably even through the break, um, which, this is an NFL question for you guys. Is this our question of the day? This would be one of them. Okay. There's another one coming There's from Julio, too. too. Mine's a little yeah. bit more boring. I know, that's right. You got But one this too. one we should have a good discussion on, and maybe people on the message board, too. Um, which NFL quarterback this season has the most pressure to win the Super Bowl? Josh Allen. I don't know how you go anybody but. That, I, I mean, I'm I know I'm here for John's answer. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I was really, you know, you said this to us the other day. So mm-hmm. I've been thinking. The only other person that I could think of would be Deshaun Watson, based right. on the guaranteed contract and all the stars that they're having. But then there. if you're gonna go Watson, you might you might as well be able to go Rogers, mm-hmm. which is my only my second choice is Rogers. 
With yeah. Rodgers, the only thing I'm like, well, I don't know how much pressure he'd be under until they got a true number right. one there because if Lazar is the number I one, think, oh, I think Derek Carr is going to have some. That? I think so, Carr is going to have some pressure on him. Yeah. Too. I don't know, but, it, to but does he really have as much? They're young, dude. Him and, him and, him and Devontae Adams aren't that old. If they show promise, they're, they're not going to reel it in after one season, I don't think. Do you? I, I don't know. The I, best friend. I mean, the yeah. best friend. I don't know. They just Waller, up. I mean, it's a good team. But then again, you know, the family that, you know, the Davis family. I don't family, see how Josh Allen. Record, see, I think man. the Bills organization has pressure, but I don't think Josh Allen has pressure. But if Josh Allen doesn't because win this year, this. I think Sean McDermott has pressure. Brandon Bean, how much pressure has he got, dude? I mean, look at what the guy does. He's well, a wizard as a GM. If they don't, but I'm, what I'm, but yeah. I think Sean McDermott. Out of everybody involved, whether it be Josh Allen, the Bills team itself, the GM, it's got to be McDermott based on he's the one. He's the reason the 13 seconds happened. It's sure, kind of come sure, out that it was him. It was the play calling, obviously. So And the timeout against Tennessee. Right. So, that, so for me, out of anybody that would be on a hot seat at all, I'm not saying that anybody is because they're probably not, it would be him. Yeah. Well, not that Josh. changes the question a little bit, though. Like I, oh, I want to go to an organization. If we ever went, what teams are under the most pressure? The teams. I think the Bills are. The Bills are, are totally under the, the, the most the pressure. Bills, the They're Bills one of them. The Bills has set them up yeah. to win in the next two years. I mean, based on how they've played, them. they've put themselves in the position to be under that pressure. That's why I just don't know if Josh Allen deserves to have that. I mean, of course he's going to put his own pressure on him. But he got the. What, well, does he deserve he that still, kind of pressure? He could still play well and they lose. There's because, a lot of teams that play deep into the playoffs yeah. for a couple years and don't make it. He I just mean, played well in that game. He played well enough to it's win. It's the media that puts if, it and the announcers that go, it's. Derek Carr makes the playoffs. You know, that's good enough for that team. And they should have beat the. They had the. What if they won one playoff game? That's good enough. Yeah, the Bills should. can't go into a season. No, they got to get. Or it's Josh the media Allen. that the puts the get pressure there. on the team. They if they're the ones that lined it up and said, okay, you won a game. Next year, you got a big. You got to keep moving. Next week. Yeah, it's it. Now it's it. That's See, I, I, I heard that last year too. That's it. They don't. That's it. The only time you're that's successful it. is when you, know? you make it to the Super Bowl. I don't care if you lose the Super Bowl. Obviously, you should want to win the Super Bowl. Right. But to make Absolutely. the Super Bowl is the goal. Yeah. Yes. To win your win your conference. Yeah. I mean, the, if you're the sole person that goes to the Super Bowl at the end of the year, then obviously you were the best team representing your conference. <laughs> yeah. So you had one game that separated you from me. Win or lose, until you're knocked off the high horse, you're the team to beat. I mean, that's just how it is. But. Another person you could put in there too. If you do the whole pressure, Kansas not City's just to win a Super Bowl for a quarterback, you can put a whole bunch of different. People Kansas City has got to be up there though. Yeah, Kansas City is a team. So they got to be the up there. We'll time. see what they do about a true number one wide receiver, right. and then and then probably through the draft. I'm guessing now. Because uh, another one, if you do just pressure alone for a quarterback only, Jalen Hurts. If you don't make the oh playoffs, sure yeah you don't win there's someone your else team coming has yeah. the resources next year just yeah the Dolphins, yeah and you're gone you're Carson they're Wentz expect again. they're right. talking like Philadelphia is gonna they're expecting a big jump I, I don't NFC know too so they but have a better chance they got a chance yeah Dallas I oh, all Prescott definitely has it on every year I, I don't Dallas. see how they I mean don't. he's got to have it on him. I mean um, you know what I, the, Kyle Brandt from the from that Good Morning Football had said last week they were not talking Dallas anymore I right. don't know why we are. Why everybody's always because people obviously yeah, you talk about people. It's like they're and I used to sit there because I'd sit at lunch and I go in and it's like you turn on ESPN and depending it doesn't matter which show it is, right? It's all about Dallas and yeah. I'm like, I mean I don't want to hear about Dallas. Dallas. I mean why are they talking about them they constantly? Got, you're right. No, you're, you're telling me how irrelevant they are, but, but the, yet you can't get them out of your mouth. Yeah. They get they live free in your head all day. And I don't think they're yeah. I don't think they're irrelevant. I don't either. think they they're are right. either. They're pretty relevant. But I don't think they deserve the credit as the accolades. And the criticism they get, I, I think they, it's a little much for them. Yeah, the, the, the I think it's Super a little Bowl too much. Question, I, I, can't, I can't take it away from Josh Allen. I think he's the only quarterback that needs to win a Super Bowl now. Yeah, for him, he needs to get – that's the next one. step he has to take to move his legacy forward at all at this point. Because the way that the Bills – He's played the fir- perfect football game. Yeah, but I don't know how he's he – He's got them all just about – I mean, he's gotten them to the championship game. He just can't – If he doesn't make it to there, the he's got team a, he's and the Bills got a, have set up – a two-year window for them to say, "Hey, we dumped all of our cap three years." From oh, now. no doubt. We yeah, are, yes. we are yes. not attractive free agents unless if it's a vet. He's young player. enough, and yeah. if you need to, you need to win in the next two years. If you got a good GM oh, wizard who believes the the cap is fake, like everybody else, every I don't know why more teams don't work like that. I truly don't understand that. Right. 
I going. mean, they could actually draw these people there. Why do why, why don't they do it? I, I don't. You got to win to draw someone though, right? Because when the Bills, are you, you have to have, you have that, to be good. Some of them, some of them, won, some right, of them right. like the Florida teams. The the tax situation alone is perfect. Yeah. Is yeah, it's ginormous. That's, that's not fair to the, the the New York teams. Oh, it's not, and I don't believe it is they, at they all. They should fluctuate that to where I think their pay should be based their, on right. The, the NFL equal. paycheck should come from the NFL for sure. Order, so it's all yes. tax the same. Agreed. Right. Agreed. Because now Absolutely. you're giving people because because uh, that's totally unfair. Obviously, advantage. I'm a Dolphins fan, and I it's just easier for them to attract free agents no matter what their win loss record is. But also, like let's a couple of players live in. Florida already, so now yeah. you don't have to move. Right. And I know it's like a prof- it's a sport, but these people have families that they have to move mm-hmm. to Buffalo and take their kid out of school and bring them, or keep their kid there for the whole season. I mean, I don't know what the tax rate is of those guys, but imagine what your paycheck looks like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you get it and how much gets taken, and then and then I don't know what these guys get hit with. I'm sh- I know it's obviously a different percentage, but what is it? People, it's people still got hurt. The cost of living. So Here. if you pick Florida, the cost of living goes up. No, these guys are paying New York taxes and probably still living in Florida. Okay. What? What? Right. Josh Allen leaves immediately. Oh, he's in California immediately. They all get out. They yeah. got that Very farm out there. Some here. pistachio, pistachio farms. I, I just, I don't know. I, 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 for some reason, I didn't feel he had. I, I don't know. I guess I felt the organization more than Josh Allen had any. I mean, yes, there's going to be pressure. There has to be, of course, because they're the odds on. They're the odds. They're the. They're the. If, like I Vegas said, I'm just saying, there's one. pressure on the whole organization. <clears throat> Absolutely. But as I think a whole, Allen, yes. out of all of them, has been the one that performed. I think there's a lot I, of say. I, maybe I don't know how much because we're not from Missouri. Well, we're not in Missouri anymore, are they? Kansas City, I think Kansas. Yeah, Kansas City, Missouri. Are they in Missouri? Okay. Oh, the Chiefs. Got to have I, they got to have yeah. a ton. I mean, is Juju really their true number I, one? I don't think so. They're not looking at him as such. But Robin, with all everything that's been said about Tyreek leaving, click on that one right sure. there, number eighty nine. For sure. Try a double click. I oh, you don't want to do that. X out of there. All right. So when the time comes, yeah. you know how to merge. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you one. Thank you, Robin. But they got to have a ton on them. I would say they got a ton because people are acting like they're just pushing Mahomes aside, like they're they're not right. even in right. the. Conversation because Ty, they still have Travis Kelsey and I mean last time I oh, saw they're be Juju, good. Be Juju fine. with a good quarterback is usually pretty good. Who's not? I mean, and he was at the end of Ben's career. The AFC, though, like well, a lot of teams, like the Chargers, went out and they, they well, who built got the team to win pressure? Out. Who's got pressure? I guess to go the furthest, really, right? Expectation wise, that's why the, the Super. Bowl I mean, I would say the Chargers, but but the Chargers haven't even cracked into it really, so they've got yeah. to crack into it to have that. But I think because Them of who they've the added, record. I think because of who they've added, they yeah. probably got a shit ton of them uh, having the best roster on them. should make them have the they have the best right. roster. Right? Oh, for sure, absolutely. And the eventually, the NFL looks, paper roster needs whoop. to turn into on that roster. Like dirty man. Yeah. Hey. Like, like for instance, hey, like, like Kansas City Chiefs and the Bills. Harsh. They were the best two teams in the AFC. Uh, well, two out of the three last year. Mm-hmm. Their defenses aren't as strong as these other AFC teams. They're just playing and outscoring everybody. Right. Like right. if you look at Kansas Agreed. City, which is your usual your aim. They lost. Uh, Matthew, that's a yeah, huge that was loss. terrible. Yeah. I don't think they added any defensive players on the the corner, the defensive back side. And Buffalo, who's their starting corners for the first quarter of the season? When yeah, the I don't know what's. Uh, I'm waiting to see what they're and doing. Yeah. Now, what if what happens if the schedule comes out? God forbid, and you play the Miami matchup one. That's that's a division of football is, a, is very important. You play them twice, and it comes down to that at the end of the year. You play Miami week one or four. And then you play all these receiver heavy teams, and who's stopping these receivers on their team? If I was playing Miami, I'd want to play them first week. I'm going to tell you sure this. Sure thing. That'd be the, yeah, right. If I'd want to play them first four weeks, but first, I, within the first four weeks, when they're in their, you know, their virgin stage, absolutely. Someone I take that. needs I to learn how to play defense, though. But, I, I'll tell you well, that. Well, no, I understand. Because, Honestly, I keep hearing, yeah. I mean, as a fan, obviously, of the Bills, I always. Hear Brandon Bean saying, you know, I heard him in an interview, Pat McAfee show. Ah, yeah, we ain't got much money left, man. If you got any money over there and you want to throw it this way, then boom, boom, this Crowder comes in. And these other guys come in. So I'm sorry, I put all my trust. Brandon Bean has not given me really a reason not to trust him with right, what he's and, done. Until he so until, he, years until he's got me, I, I don't know what his plan is at corner. I know he's been questioned on it. He said he doesn't wake up in the morning and go, first thing, man, I got to find a corner. So okay. obviously, I know they were trying to get uh, – Peterson. Right. I, I was always, I'm thinking they're probably talking to Hayden. 
Right. I'm imagining. Joe Hayden would be the. Uh, the ideal what's one. call it? I would even call Gilmore back. Um, I'm sure there's been. They said there's conversations. So who knows what's going on? I don't know. But like, is this Gilmore's probably too much every, money? Every but GM, who knows? like I understand the the bean we trust because again we live in Western New York, so that's all we see. Right, we're we inundated with it. Every GM keeps restructuring contracts, and when you go to restructure a deal, it's like a credit card payment. You're putting that money off, and it's gonna be due. So in three years, when all this right, money's due, yeah, but they transfer a lot business. over and they give, they turn you around and win. give them right, a lot of at, guaranteed in, and then they rock every, it over into a signing does bonus. That, and whenever you go and you keep doing this, like if you have the money now, yeah, spend the money now. But when you restructure people to create space for other people to sign now, that's when dead money's uh, comes up. And when you're in the dead money, the top of the league in dead money, that's when your franchise starts to go down the hill. Because then you have dead money that's essentially like. We're paying this guy. Yeah, you he's can't. Playing he's playing someone team. else. Yeah, that's well, always bad. He came in and cleaned up a shit ton of dead money. I'm going to guess he probably ain't creating a ton. They need him, I'm not worried about. They Other need people, they might do it differently. One of your but better players that helps you train. I'm not really worried about Brandon was Bean, of all people. Jordan Poyer, one of the better about him? safeties. Mm-hmm. And he's unhappy now. He should be paid. But they, and then instead of paying should him, be they paid Diggs and Allen. Well, of course they do. My whole point. No one said that. Was. He just recently started pipe peeping up about that. No, he see. Well, I think they I'm changed agents because it didn't go about, very well. He was talking about Buffalo as a whole, as a city, as being not good enough. Everybody leaves, leaves, and then. Yo, know, I saw his posts. I saw his posts. And he I, wants to go. I mean, he's a great. Don't, don't, don't stay. It's a great safety to have. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Stay, if you're not well, happy, leave. Well, I mean, it's great to. How many teams have two fantastic safeties? Not many, and they, a lot of them won the Super Bowl. Well, the I mean, so I mean, yeah, he he's a definitely. Don't get me wrong. Without that corner, you lose him. You're fucking hurting. There ain't no doubt about if it. Just, but uh, this is why I don't. I hear he you does guys. Deserve, he does deserve to be paid. I hear you guys about the AFC, and I and I agree how tough they are. But I'm telling you, They're they still team. cannot beat the team like the Rams, who can play Ron who Matthews. can play defense. Because there's no defense in this league. Well, or the, who is the defense in the NFC? In the AFC? Miami. Okay, then maybe they'll have a, a, the a lead well, up. We haven't even the seen Chargers. Buffalo's got a revamp defense too. We have no. There's a lot of there's a lot of movement this year, dude. But I don't even know what they've done. Uh, I, see, I, we, there's there's a lot, those, I mean, look at San Diego's defense. Can you, we don't wow. know what that monster is going to be. Yet. That could be a fucking yes. machine, man. Could be. Can you put the Buffalo Bills in top five defenses? In they the shouldn't AFC? have been last year. I, that must have been. Well, no, statistically, I, they were the first team. That was weird. Yeah, yeah. I know it didn't feel like they were the first team. If you're going to let that be a thing, don't forget that they played Tua that the national media says should not even be in the league. Uh, Wilson, they just bag, they just talk so much shit about in the Jets. And you're counting these numbers. They play these quarterbacks twice a year. That's four wins. Right I mean, now. we could do that with a lot of teams. That's why the rankings are just nonsense. Because obviously, if the score was 35, whatever, and we're worried about the overtime rules, obviously the defense isn't good enough. No, the defenses aren't good enough for both teams. I didn't think the Chiefs were. I don't think. That's why the Bengals probably, and their defense isn't good either. No. A lot of teams without good defense. But if your offense can outscore well, what them, happens? you're going to worry about it. I don't think that works. See, for me, I don't know if that works to try to outscore people. I've never seen anyone win. I I don't think you're going to be having a Super Bowl that is 35, 30, 40 points to win. If you're the Buffalo Bills, I don't think the defense is going to fall apart. That's what I'm saying. I'm not really worried about it at all, to be honest with you. I I expect them to actually progress. I think what they got to do is try to protect their defense a little bit. I've said this a million times. I think their defense has been a Frankenstein for a while. Just try to run the ball maybe once, twice. Right. Maybe, maybe run some clock I off. Think well, I think they're planning the on doing that. That'll now. be good, good for them. Well, it looks like they've made some moves to just try to maybe. Well, we're going to see what else yeah. they're going to do, too. I don't know. I just don't know. turn and hand I, I'll be honest. I have no clue. No, no. We I don't, can sit we here don't tell know. you what I want, but I don't have a single I, idea. Because every time I do it, when I have not I been right saw, close. So, this is when I said this other team. Other than. This is when I right. said this team is unbelievably good right now. When I saw Singletary Fields couple, just it didn't matter who was running. I care the name. Right. When I saw them running the ball that couple weeks, I'm like, towards oh. the middle I said, of the end of the season. Yeah, right. I said Uh-oh. this. I said, wow. Now that's when Singletary kind of caught on too. But then it went to hell, and then all of a sudden we're just going to keep. I, I just, think that, I think they had a lot of offensive line issues too, uh, where they just didn't have a steady lineup, see, and they had a lot of guys hurt, and they had a lot of guys I'm that sure. played like shit. Cody Ford was not good I, at all. What I not noticed about the AFC is they they did get better as teams. The teams as a whole got better. Most of them, like sixty percent of the teams. Like the 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 teams that were in the playoffs and the teams that were like on the verge, like the Chargers, the Dolphins, right. the Ravens, all got better, but they didn't get better on the defensive side. And offense is only going to take you to the, the big show, but the defense is going to win you the Super Bowl. Yeah, and I guess the Ravens are talking with Melvin Gordon. Yeah, from what I see. Oh, really? More more offense. Yeah. Cool. Um, the Rams are talking to uh, 
They're trying to create, Matthew. Yep, Matthew. They're trying to create space for that, which is uh, <coughs> the whole thing about Green Bay trading two firsts for DK Metcalf. I heard that on, on a network or yeah, something. I heard something today that said that when Seattle has been getting the calls from agents in regards to the Metcalf, they don't even allow them to get out their offer, and they tell them See, they're not trading. If I got they're two not firsts, trading I might do it. Not, and they were saying because people were saying, "Look, they don't. They're not even listening to. They don't the even listen to them." Right. The team shot with Locke. They're not going to. Yeah, do, I don't know what that's all about. Well, no. Oh, oh you're saying you do it as Seattle? Yeah, I Seattle. would do that for pick ten overall. Like the Jets offered. Oh my God, like I the would. Jets yeah. truly offered pick number ten. Oh, they should have done it. There's no reason you should have said no. Right. Oh, I'm shocked. DK it. Metcalf is only taking you three three losing seasons. He will be. You got to pay him. They got to pay him next year, right? Next year they got to pay him. Yeah. Right. And so they're probably going to do something this year if they're going to keep them. The longer they're going to have to pay these receivers is the Ooh, more they're going to get. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. The moment the moment Adam signed and then Tyreek Hill signed, all they did is drive out the price for everybody else. Yeah, you got buddy. Debo Samuel. He's pissed. Oh, yeah, he, he is. is. He took all the stuff off. Isn't yeah. he two yeah. years out from his contract? No, is it two? Is last it's only yeah. one year? He's on is his it? rookie deal. I thought, oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was two years. Him. You give him more than Tyreek Hill, right? Oh, yeah. my God. He's he's such a weapon. He's Dude, eno- he's great. how do you even he's how do you even put yourself in the position yeah. to even possibly they got get him? It. We piss him off. This right. happened with Zach Ertz when he was... No, Jimmy Graham? Jimmy Graham was with the Saints. Okay. And he when he went for his tenders, his franchise tenders... He wanted to be considered as a running a wide receiver because yes, he played he wide receiver more yep. than tight end. There was so a big thing about what that. What does Samuel do? He's he everything. Say, hey, did he end up? Get, yeah, but he did. Did he? He didn't end up get winning that. I don't think. Didn't they end no, up in the end? He had to go he to went arbitration to tight end, about but it. Yeah. This is worse though. He plays running back just more, just as much, if not more than receiver. I know. So and and, and the running back pay is not really good, man. Due to their due to them declining so fast. Yeah, that sucks. Why don't that we, sucks. real quick before we take a break, because we're, we're over time on our break, um, two, I, I was reading this thing about five guys that careers are probably over, and it was uh, it was Ryan Fitzpatrick, Nate Solder, Ty Hilton, um, Gronkowski, and Jimmy Graham. Oh, Probably right. all done, right? Gronk's done, huh? Is he going to hang it up? It doesn't look like he's interested. Fitzpatrick, I could see him creeping back in and playing as a backup somewhere if they needed him. <coughs> he's still good enough to play backup, so I don't know why he'd be done. He just seems to be too smart. He's too smart. I mean, it's about time to get his I don't know. He might be done. He and, could be and done I think when I mean, do, he doesn't need to play. It's really more of a want, I'm sure, at yeah. this point in his career. He and, already got paid. And it seems and like and Hilton and Grant knew he was kind of no superstar. I watched him in Chicago. He's kind of a little just it's he just looks like it's over for him. But, I don't know about Nate Solder. I mean, Graham, I, I don't know how he. Sticks I feel like as an honest. as an offensive lineman, there's always a place for him. Right, yeah. You know, sure, size you could plug it up. I no, mean, why, why he, he might, yet? but you never know. Point, yeah, is he still wants to play? Somebody will hey, pick him up at some point. Hey, Robin, can you bring us to break? All right, bring us to break. Um, cool. opportunity to enjoy this wonder of nature. The Autism Nature Trail at Letchworth will provide ADA compliant accessibility and allow those with autism, as well as visitors of all ages and abilities, to push boundaries, explore new activities, and develop skills. Go to AutismNatureTrail.com to learn more and please help support this important project.
right. Thank you very much, Robin. And um, yeah, we're back. We're back. We've got we're new, back. as you see, Patriot Lawn and Land Care, 716 Supreme Subs. Thank you to our new sponsors. Pretty awesome. cool. Yes, sir. Um, and my house, I'm going to try them out. Oh, yeah, right around. Yeah, yeah out in yeah, LaSalle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah LaSalle yeah, guy. Check it out. And then um, <coughs> I want to talk about something real fast before we get to baseball real quick. One last football note. Sure. Um, it's about the Dolphins and this whole story that Brady and Sean Payton, but if it wasn't for the Brian Flores story happening, that maybe that really was going to happen. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, they were trying to bring him on to be a owner, owner, right? owner yeah. player, player coach, right? For a year. Owner player that coach, been cool. something like that. Wanted him to play this current year or next year. Yeah, that would have been be, pretty sick. I'm I like glad it. it didn't happen. Yeah, right? I'm <laughs> fucking really glad it didn't happen. That would have been cool, though. No, that it would have been, been cool, yeah, John. Yeah, wanna, Fuck like you, John. Yeah. And Fuck <laughs> Tom Brady. I don't want it to happen. I don't want to go against that asshole. We've dealt with him enough. I don't want to deal with him anymore. Well, he's staying in Tampa. It looks like good. So. He can stay in Tampa. So why don't we do this? Break a leg, Tommy. I mean, good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Good luck, buddy. Yeah, good luck. Baseball, real fast. Major League Baseball, let's talk about that. I know we'll go through it quick. The Yankees win today, 6 5 and yeah, 11 beautiful. innings. The beautiful. stupid ghost runner, I hate. The, the ghost runner on second is so dumb. I love it. Why it do you seems, love it? I just love it. <laughs> the objective in baseball is to be having more fun, and it's more fun than you got a guy starting on second base. Oh, it's not. There's fun. so many more things. <laughs> also, it, takes, it does shorten the game a little bit yeah. because. They're not doing their full windup anymore at the mound because they're coming from the bottom. Yeah, I don't like it. I, I, it's just like in hockey. I hate the shootout. Oh, the shootout's stupid. And I hate the three on three for overtime. He's just never it. happy in OT. Jeepers, no, guys. no, because overtime should Harsh. be what it is. You should sudden death. Play the game as you play the game. I, right. I don't think. Don't I think adjust gonna... the game. Don't make it free throw shooting contests in basketball. Don't right. do that. Do one on know. one. No, no, no. I don't want to play two on two. If you're gonna do the, yeah. the runner on second, That's you need to do it every inning. Well, yeah, do it every inning. Right. I want to play the don't game the way you played it. Up it. Because of that. Play the game, right? Just play it. Three on three in the NHL is ridiculous. When I'm watching that, it's just, it's not even hot. It's nothing. It's the most, it's a drill. It's doing drills. It's all it is. It's two, two on one, two on one, two on it's one. It's like an all star game. They literally hold the puck yeah. to try to get the one possession, right? Oh, yeah. They just they circle around. Yeah, Uncle used to do it all the time. They, they cannot, the they got to stop. And if they ever do it in the pro, in playoffs, I'll lose it. It can't happen. <laughs> I'd be very upset because playoff games can't be finished by that. Right. You know what I mean? And playoffs in hockey are great because you just play and play and play. They don't complain. You just play. You can play four periods. You only, yeah, right. Who cares? Yeah, because it's a fair advantage. You win the faceoff, you get the puck. Yeah. But in football, you lose. You win the face off, or you win the coin toss, you get the, the, the ball. Yeah, and if I have a defense, I stop you. You should have a defense. And then oh, I shit. score. Shit, come yeah. on, John. There's and no I defenses score. in the NFL, like you just said. That's why they had to go towards us. Yeah, it's a shame. But there's going to be. Yeah. There's going to be there's a lot of defensive players out there. I mean, you know what I mean? Right. Defense in college is still being played. Defense yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of guys that are gonna be yeah. in that draft available. Speaking all right, now let's talk about baseball real quick. We gotta go fast. Um Do the important division first. Well, the American League East, uh for me it's the Blue Jays. Me it's the Blue Jays. I don't Blue see Jays. how they are for even sure. I mean, I guess it'll all be on their starting pitch. Yeah, better. But wow. Yeah, they got well, they got Chapman at third. Mm -hmm. Third. And, uh, yeah, Guerrero and Vigio and Bichette. And I don't even know what's in the outfield. It doesn't even matter. Like, Gurriel, I think, is out there. and That's a good team. Yeah. going to be fun to watch. I mean, I don't know nothing about baseball. I'm going to shake my head yes to everything you say, but I'm going to watch more. Yeah, you know what? yeah, that's right. It'll be good. Yeah, watch mm -hmm. more baseball. Baseball is fun. It's all right. You know, because you guys, no one wants to watch it. Everyone's got to see just, all this. It's so long. It's, you're just so dedicated sometimes. It's, almost, it's just boring, man. I'm sorry. I'm just not a baseball John, guy. I, I did highlights. play when I was younger. And I know people that die. I love it. baseball, yeah. I just never had that passion. I had my passion was Five football. <laughs> it's always been football. I live it. Now I'm so glad it's almost like a 24-7 thing now. I'm, I love football, and that's all I got time for. It's, I don't have time... To wreck my, break my heart in two other sports, okay? I don't really have time for that. It's definitely different when you're at the game. Wade's here. I mean, I would go to a game. Hey, wait. <laughs> five hour game. I mean, today. I would go to a game. I five, would totally go to a game. It was a five hour game. But I don't want to dedicate my, I can't dedicate myself to that long of a stat amount of games. I had a lot of games, man. Yeah, it's wonderful. Just like they basketball, play every night. it's a ton of games. Give me the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Give me the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I watch the playoffs. Hockey, I'm Jerry sorry. O'Connor I'm just not. I, I do watch some of the hockey games, the Sabres Definitely. games, and I will go to a couple. And I, I generally like to watch more around the playoffs, but I will watch. If I was to watch more of anything, it would be Buffalo. Just base, a little bit more exciting. I mean, if we had a basketball team, would I watch more? If we had one, I probably yeah. would. But because I got no horse in the race, yeah. I just don't. 
you know? live in a poverty city that refuses to bring basketball Holy back. We could have Tell basketball, me, I really too. Feel, no, I'm just kidding. I would love basketball to come back. <laughs> yeah. Just trade the Sabres. Uh, wow. Yeah, trade. That's not a good I take. would love to and trade the Bills. Them. <laughs> They're not even at Buffalo. We have zero teams above this, New York. Dude, right, so, the Orchard Park okay. goes. So the, there he goes. So the Blue Jays, we think, are going to win the East. Yes. yes. The Central but, stinks. But I, the other two from the East I have as well, Owl Cards. Boston and in New York. New York. Yeah, I do too. I do too. The Central's bad, but I think the White Sox are the team. White Sox, Tim Anderson, it's my guy. Definitely and they got, got that Jolito, G- whatever the pitcher. I mean, he's probably enough. And I got to go with Houston still in the West. Uh, I believe. Yeah, if they bang off these garbage cans, but yeah. <laughs> Verlander's still there, right. and he'll be. And then I think the third wild card will be Seattle. <coughs> third, you got Seattle. Good um, Seattle. I think they had the there, Tigers. Huh? Interesting. I had the Tigers, Tigers. for the sole reason. Uh, it's tough between the Tigers and Anaheim. And there's one guy for the Blue Jays I love, that pitcher, Jose Barrios. He's good. He just came from the Twins. Watch him. He's awfully good. Dynamic, man. He's going to be good. All right, now the National League, uh, the, the the World Series champion, Braves, I think, win the East. Yeah, because the, the East is just weak. The Mets are just dumb. Uh, there's, like, the Marlins, man. You just got to hope on their young kids or else they're not going to be a problem. But yeah, I'd go with them, too. Yeah, for sure. The Central Milwaukee guys, anybody? Anything um, different for I, you? See, I'm going to go with the Cubs. Cubs, you think? Yeah, I'm a big Cubs guy. Oh, all right. I've, I've heard, heard Cubs as well myself. That's what I've heard. I just like, I like Word Chicago, on the street. Man. That's the word on the street is the Cubs. Yep. Just by the way. Yep. Last year, I picked the Padres to win the World Series. <coughs> and that, was, <coughs> that was bad. But the NL West, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Dodgers. You okay over there, dude? Nah, I'm choked up. I think the Dodgers in the West, but I, I love the Padres. It's got to be the Dodgers. wait of for Tatis to Dodgers. get back. But you have... You have, obviously, I'm going to go Dodgers, too. But Dodgers, you have, definitely. You have Padres going to the wild card, though? Yes. Even with Tatis out for those months? Yes, I do. I really like this team. I, I think they're – and I, the pitching seems uh, – they got – oh, God, why am I going to forget the names? Who's the other two wild cards, though? The other two wild cards for me is Philadelphia, and I sadly put the Mets. I could not put the Mets. I know. The only reason I can yeah. put the Mets is, yeah. first off, they're never, ever, Mets. ever healthy. If they're healthy, their pitching staff is incredible. Yeah, sure. But also wrong. last year, if they're if they were healthy, their pitching staff was also incredible. Stroman was your third pitcher. I know. They're they're just. But like, when's the ground come back? I, even know? I don't know. Scherzer might pitch game three, I guess, of the season or something. That might be enough to get them, if he's still the same. I mean, look at Garrett Cole. He couldn't even go three innings. What did he go four innings today? That was all. Yeah, because he um, left three earned runs and two of them coming in the first inning. What did first he say? Donaldson with the walk off. Donaldson, <laughs> good trade. <laughs> So, anyways, sorry. <laughs> I can't stop coughing and gagging. Why don't we go to the NFL draft? And, Julio, you got a question well, for some of my, us. My question that I, I've thought about okay, like all week, we I've go. asked a lot of people, is it more skill or more luck in the NFL draft, drafting for people? Wow. Skill or luck? Um, geez. I don't want to take away from scouts. I guess right. they are something. You know, they are ridiculous. They're what build everything in every sport is a scout. God, some of it's luck, though, right? I mean, yeah, uh, I'm going 80 20 luck. I would say 90 10 luck. Yeah. I mean, just to how hard it is. How many players that are chosen in the top 10 honestly go on to live up to that standard? Right. Well, let's think of some. Really, of the, I mean, I don't know what a percentage is. I'd really like to know, to be honest with you. Some of the top 10 that are right. <coughs> uh, <coughs> busts. Like you think of uh, well, we talked about Ryan well, Leaf before. Oh God, we talked that's about such a massive um, just big, the uh, just the hoopla around Mayfield, the Leaf man, yeah. uh, Manning situation. That was just the insane. Biggest bust ever is, uh, Jamarcus, Jamarcus, Jamarcus Russell. Russell. Jamarcus yeah. Russell. Yeah. Oh my God, dude, he would come in but to start also, a season and look like he swallowed last year. Yeah, I know. Jamarcus that's not fair, Russell. Though. He would. He got so yeah, heavy. Jamarcus Russell shouldn't have went number one overall, but because you have Same to go as after the quarterback, it's not Trubisky. fair. Same for Trubisky. He should but never have been in that fit position. Wasn't fair to him that he shouldn't have been held up guys. to that standard. Right. Should, nobody should have took yeah. him. Yeah. It's just yeah. like this year. Who's the best out of the what's there? That he's going to go the, the first it's, quarterback. It looks like yeah, Malik Willis. Be? It looks so like Malik like Willis. Uh, Willis Steelers. Where's he going to go? His, yeah, his pro day was so bad. Where do you guess he? Malik Willis's pro day was horrible. Pro day was horrible. Yeah. God awful. I'm going to put him. I want to say first quarterback. Baltimore. Yeah, he's going to definitely going to be the first quarterback. It's just hard. Maybe Carolina gets him, though. At six? Carolina's then, starving for a quarterback, man. What if he man. goes to Carolina? His career might be shot. He very right. well may end up there, man. That, and, that's and a good option. A, a, a worse one is Atlanta. What if he was Atlanta on the top ten? What is so horrible yeah. about Carolina? Is it just that they then just don't want to spend any money, or they just, just got nobody to no attraction yeah, to them? Well, where's their money all tied right. up? Who's their money all tied up into Christian in Carolina? McCaffrey probably... 
uh, short, probably. They couldn't. I mean, they had offers to trade McCaffrey. They could have got out from underneath his contract if they wanted to. What do you think of Kenny Pickett? What I think he's the second best. Second best. Mm-hmm. And I know you said you liked Ritter. But I just think the the tight end, the quarterback is going to more Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen type than. Yeah, Tampa. definitely. You're gonna, yeah, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of that probably. Yeah. The Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, all that that type of stuff. Yeah. I mean now like um I was looking at something. I just wrote it down, but you're gonna know probably more than he will. Um best is it the best position, edge rusher? The best position is wide receiver. Wide receiver in this draft? And then off at the tackle. Deep, deep, deep okay. wide receiver draft, right? See yeah, yeah. The wide receiver class but it's always good though. Like But it's not a good but it's like we were saying, but there's no well, you were Star. also comparing it to, like, last year's class, and that's just that's I mean, what, not fair. Well, as a standalone class, how, what would you, like, what's the tier? Well, like, lot, top, I think I don't well, know, like, what would, you, what, what, what would you put, put in the first tier? How many would be in the first tier, I guess, would you say? And then how many in, like, a coming, second tier? Coming into the draft, <laughs> you would put Williams, Sin, Alabama guy. Yeah. Sir, I will not count an injury against anybody. Uh, the, both uh, Ohio State guys, and... See, that's the thing with the tiers is those three are obviously the better three. But then I like personally, because I look at everything as like, those those tier guys have to go in the top 20. But then I like better people like Bell from Purdue. I like him, yeah. And, Based on like a skill and, set and or Christian something? Christian Watson. It, it's just where you can get these guys to what they can do. Like obviously the other three could be better now. But Watson and, that, Watson and Bell could be better and you get them in the second round. Right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. When you see, get a guy in a second round. That's my problem when I, when I like, do the, the rankings and stuff. That's gotta be, could it's you imagine typical. being a GM, dude? Yeah, you That's got to be hard. you got to rely on those, that on those is, scouts, Oh, man. my God. But, you better have a good scouting so group, boy. The traditional ranking of the, the receivers are the two Ohio States, Drake London. I forget about him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drake London. And Not a big fan. Uh, the Alabama one. Like right? him, yeah. But now I'll take my tier that I can get outside of the first round, and we can revisit this next year around this time and I'll put Menchie from Alabama I'll put Watson from San Diego State no it's not San Diego State uh, where's the Buffalo from the Bison's from is it no- North Dakota North Dakota North yeah. Dakota and Bell I'll put them up there and they and Pickens from uh, that guy like Georgia, Georgia yeah he, the, his hands are incredible but then you, you just caught like the underwear Olympics and stuff and it's I'm hoping there. the Bears get Menchie in the second round Why somewhere would, right. there's That'd no nice. need to take the <clears throat> See, another thing, we revisit this. If one of those four go to a Kansas City and a Green Bay, it's obviously not going to be fair. Right. <coughs> Being comparing these guys together, it's not, not going to be fair. Jacksonville should take the offensive lineman Neal, right? Yeah, they have they to. They have to. They can't go with Aiden. Uh, uh, they're, not gonna, they're probably not going to get the trade out. But. Yeah. I mean, that would just make so much sense. I mean, why would you? That agent Hutch, man, he's turning to be, he's quite the head case, huh? Yeah. That fucking I think Detroit, crazy. that's perfect lion. He, he doesn't really lion. care. Cool. Oh, yeah, Hutch, dude. That Bum would be. I don't think they're going to take him. Just but I Lions think it'd be are awesome. just. It just seems like that's where he belongs. Oh, him and Dan. Quint, yeah, that's Dan, just, Dan you know. Campbell. Because and I like Tebow better. Shit. I, I like yeah, him much better too. from Oregon. I, I then do. There's, a, there's another one coming up. The Walker. Walker's coming oh, way yeah. up the the <laughs> boards as an edge rusher. How's your? Georgia. I'm going to ask you about somebody, Jermaine Johnson. What do you know? Like what's? Uh, from See, FSU, Florida State. Yeah, is there any? Hey, he's what's he all thinner, about? But he's thinner? gonna go to later in the the round and probably in a better situation though. Right. It just sucks. Is like obviously Thibodeau's better, but the later they go, the better situation they go to. I saw something today about that safety Kyle Hamilton falling. What's that all about? You know uh, about that? He, his, like we said last week, he just runs. He didn't run in a straight line for his forty and ran in a, a fig, uh, an S. Well, someone's going to be happy. Really? Do you train since the day your season ends around a 40-yard dash? And when he took off this line, he went almost off the tape at the combine. Or the pro Jeez. Jeez. But that might be – someone's going to be happy, though, if they actually right. care about but that. But he's a phenomenal player. He's like a top-five player right, or something, like, right? Like we went back to three, four years ago where Derwin James. When you watched him, he was the one of the better players in that draft. He kept sliding and sliding and sliding, and then he went a little bit later than he was supposed to. But now, what happens if he turns out to what, what pick does Buffalo have? Buffalo, Buffalo. I don't no, know. No, we're twenty five. Twenty five. So we'll say if he's at the fifteen range, you, right? As Buffalo. Oh, I mean, that's a good question. That's all. Oh, you're ready Boston. to win now. You go. I would go. Sure. I guess that's why you have to wait till it's situational. All your picks are situational, but really. That's why you also got to figure out these these unhappy players before. Like Debo Samuel needs to be figured out now. Poyer. I hate to see Boyer leave, <laughs> but I don't want him that. to be a distraction throughout the season because right. that would really suck balls. And honestly, him betting on himself is just an idiot. 
You're betting on yourself, and you don't have Shea Davis, White, yeah, and, oh. and Hyde between you. I like right. him, but he's um, he emphasizes that. He emphasizes his accolades to people all the time. When you have to talk yeah. about yourself all the time, his wife won't that's shut a problem. Oh, they didn't get me started She's on that. She's way dude. worse than that's a problem. Mrs. Mahomes. That's Mahomes. actually that's that's a problem. She yeah. has me blocked on Twitter. It's it's <laughs> dude, it's it's a problem because she'll purposely go out and start yeah. shit with people all the time. All the time. Really? There's no need for that, man. Keep that shit at home. She, she's the one that dude, talk to your want. girl. Yeah. Tell her, look, dude, we live in a pretty good life right now. Cut the shit. Yeah. She, or else, I, I mean, really. I didn't even dude, know Why that. would you want your girl to pick a fight with your own fans? Right. Why Why would you? And it happens all the time, I and I can't stand it. She, I, yeah, you're going to be all fired up over here. She'll go to Twitter there it and, goes. and go ahead and talk about. Here it goes. Here pay, we go. Oh, is that what she's saying? He's fucking going on that one. Not that many people can tell me where Jordan Poyer was before he came to Buffalo. There's, I can ask people, on, like, look through tops. Where was he at before right. Buffalo? Does it, do you guys I, know? I don't even know. I was going to ask. I was going to ask. He was in yeah. Cleveland being a nobody. He was a nobody And then he came to this team and played between Carlos Hyde, which is severe. Did I say Carlos out? Michael Hyde. Michael Hyde. That is severely underrated for a safety. And Jadavius White, which for some odd reason is in a top five corner, but we'll, we'll just not mention that. But he is in a oh. corner. Yeah, yeah. And he's playing between those two. So, like, that's the most security you could possibly yeah. have. Yeah. But now you're not going to have White for the first quarter of the season. So now you won't be able to have Carlos, or I keep saying Carlos, so Michael Hyde playing your, your free safety. He's essentially playing free safety to a strong safety with Jordan Player. Yeah. I'll worry about it being Boy, a Micah problem. Hyde was problem. Good. But he, Micah Hyde was good with Green Bay. They just got to stop. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah I don't they're, understand. They're constantly on Twitter talking about that stuff. Yeah, I can't stand that shit. I'm yeah. not a fan of that stuff. Any player doing that stuff, I get it, I get it, I get it. But you know what, man? The whole deleting your whole Instagram thing and then the or the cryptic stuff. I mean, I love Stefan Diggs, but that stuff, I don't like that because it drums up bullshit with the people that like the fans. And it got and it and that shit can turn ugly, man, and make people say some really hateful shit for no reason. Well, Debo Samuel, because I started yeah. seeing it over the course of a few days. I would watch it happen, and then it's just it gets, and then the then it then the situation creates itself. Winning fixes, from that, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Another Win- thing about the social media, the Instagram that they fucking hate it and keep using, like the national media doesn't pay attention to these guys as much until they're on the media talking about their contract. But there's players on like my team. I follow almost every Dolphin on social medias. There's two or three of them on the team that when it comes time for OTAs, which they reported last week because new coaches can have their team report early, they delete everything mm-hmm. every year. Every single year they delete everything. Uh, Xavier Howard just deleted everything two days ago. He will only go because he's trying to work. He doesn't want no distractions. He won't post until the season starts. And he cleans, cleans his account every offseason. Yeah, I mean, the, the the Samuel stuff ended up being But when a big people story. do it out of the blue, well, he and then away. attention is drawn to it, and you don't put that fire out immediately, well, as as you then, take the then, then, out of you, your then it's fucked up. Bio, you then everyone you gets don't need to do it. Up. You just don't need yeah. to do it. Yeah. There's no reason to do it. I'm sorry, I can't so say I that's don't being know. petty. So I'm skill. But it, it works, though. Sometimes. I know it works, and it sucks sometimes. Skill, so. though. There is a skill yeah. to drafting. There's got to be. These guys, these oh, for these, sure. Uh, for sure. Some, but these, I, these, I, um, these scouts are ridiculous. They're unbelievable. When I wonder see, what standards like, some of them are, are, are kept. It's got to be high, dude. Well, you know, you got to get players. you got to be you gotta be good at your job. I wonder if there's a I bonus mean, that if you come up to the, the GM and say, hey, let's draft this guy in this round, and he turns out to be – there should uh, be. On Tom Brady, you get the bonus. There should be something. You're the head of the staff next year. There should be something but because... The, my, my, the answer to the question that I was you I think... thought about was I thought about it longer than these guys. I think in the first round, it's luck. Yes. I think that it's later, I believe it's more in that. skill. I believe that, too. I think later's a lot more. Yes. Yeah, later was definitely more skill. I mean, one at the first round, that luck. Well, when, first... you're, when you're investing that kind of money in some guy, it's definitely luck. I mean, the top ten, it's all got to be... Because it's never guaranteed. It's so bad when you have to draft by need. I hate that. If I've it could be good that, enough I've to... said this in the start of free agency, you never want to go oh. into a draft with a need. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, when you can just draft the best player, that's the best position always being, obviously. Yeah. Because, like, Kyle Hamilton, what what team in the top 15 really need a safety? Because you don't draft safeties as you're rebuilding. Right. Why do you draft safety to start? That's you wouldn't. No, that didn't and there was chatter. Right, Buffalo right. was trying to move up from that Zig Fracassi. It's tweeted that yeah, out. Right. So we'll yeah, right. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Get out. him on here, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get. What him are on. we doing? We need to get on that. We don't have a lot of time. Yeah, I know. We got to get him on. Hey, this is not a lot of time, coming. bro. I know. I yeah, can't yeah. believe how fast it's going. You know, it contradicts myself a little bit, but the Giants, like they're, they're not as, they're bad, but they're closer than a lot of these teams in the top ten, and have two picks. So if you did decide to take Kyle Hamilton. I would take a Stingley, though, before. 
Like the Jets, I don't think are that bad either. I mean, I think there are, but like, what if they like this thing was had Thibodeau at four? Right. And then if what, they were, what's, and if the they Jets, take, what are the Jets picking? I don't know about Ahmed Gardner, ten. but four and I mean, they could really. I hate, I hate. Sauce you don't like so. I know, but what if it's someone? I don't know, but they can really. Man, the Jets could really be the decent. Jets the Jets are going to definitely. I, I could see them moving one. The of those defense picks there for could sure. be decent. I, mean, I could see them picking one there and and trading one. If they if they leave this draft with trade that number four and right. pick at ten, that's what four. I would do. Yeah. The first I trade my four and pick at ten. First overall pick is probably going to be an offensive tackle. The second one is going to be a pass rusher, which I really believe Detroit is going to make the mistake of going Hutchinson. Yes, the third pick <laughs> is a wild card because again, I don't think that they should be drafting there either. But Houston, they need everything. If they don't draft Thibodeau and the Jets get Thibodeau and in the pick ten they get Stingley, they won the draft. I know that'd be huge. Yeah, I guess everything's gonna yeah, everything's gonna come down to who. But they at the same get. thing for them, what if who's they took, good, who's there? I guess. What if they trade him back out of the four spot to a team like who just traded for the ten? Oh wait, the Jets don't. They have it right. They got it from Seattle. The the Seattle pick moves up. What if Seattle? No, the Saints. I'm sorry, the Saints move yeah. up to four, and they take the quarterback. Mm. Yeah. Is their quarterback? They think they're a quarterback away. Right, but if you're going to take Kyle Hamilton, I I really think that you should go ahead and take the the cornerback, and then the, they grow together. That whole right side of your defense is growing together. All right, I got to ask you because uh, the Chicago Bears is my favorite team. Let me ask you: they got two picks and they got three picks in the top seventy-one, I guess, two second rounders. What do they get? What do they do? If I was them, um, offensive line, you can go the best available offensive <coughs> line. They have two Excuse picks me. in the second round, one seven. Yeah. Yeah, and then the others way later. Wait, a little bit later, yeah. If I was them, I'd try to go the first pick. I'm going Pickens, or Watson, or or Menti. I'm getting a receiver, but if when you come on the clock at the seventh overall pick in round two, if all all four of them receivers that I named earlier that can go in the second round are still there, you don't take one. Right. You go ahead and take the best offensive lineman, mm-hmm. and then hope that one of those receivers are there in round two because you need to leave round two with one of those receivers. Right, you do. If you get, you if have you get to, mentioned, yeah. that's good. If you get Pickens, I think, not 1,000%, but I think Fields and Pickens might have crossed paths in yeah, in Georgia. Right? Georgia. They yeah. might have. I don't, about 1,000%. Think about Ohio State. That You know what I mean? They had Burrow. Yeah. But they had Haskins. Yeah. They chose, they went Haskins instead of Burrow, and then Burrow leaves. I mean, think of it. Wow. And yeah. then Fields comes. What a... But if they had Burrow, maybe they win the national championship. Although Fields yeah, played I great wonder. in the national championship game. A lot of what ifs there, huh? Olave dropped that ball in the end zone, and they would have they would have they would have won. They'd have won the national championship. But whatever. I guess it's time to time for us to go home on a Friday night. All right. Already. Rock and roll. All right. So tomorrow um, at two o'clock, Falls Count Anywhere with Charlie Turner and Chris DiCarlo. They got a great interview tomorrow, and um, of course, all your classic wrestling and and new stuff too. Um, on Monday, Citizens United will be on, and um, a whole bunch of stuff coming our way. But uh, for my friend Julio here, and Scott, and Wade, and Robin back there, have a nice weekend. We'll see you guys.